The Ice Hawks can only win at home if I'm there. Courtney, they need you. Welcome to From Center Ice, the podcast. This is Courtney. The podcast. The podcast. I'm Jacqueline. <laughs> Part of the podcast. Part of the podcast. Half, <laughs> half of the podcast. Half of the podcast. We're a day late. Yeah, we Because you're sick. I'm sick. I don't feel you're great. You're gross. I'm sorry. You're hacking all over the place. I'm doing my best here. Are you? I'm on the upswing. I feel better than I did a couple days ago. Hmm. But I'm still gross. I don't trust it. That's fair. Yeah. I wouldn't either. <laughs> Heck, heck, heck. <laughs> oh, goodness. We've had some hockey. A little bit. But before we get into that, we have some housekeeping. Uh, you can email us at vfcenterice at gmail.com. Yeah, you can. Is that the one? That's the one. Um, let's see. It is vfcentericepod on Twitter. Oh, you went backwards. And okay. At from Center Ice Pod on Instagram. You're right. You're right. I'm not looking at the sheet today, so I'm just. This is off the dome. It is. <laughs> it is straight off the dome. It's all right. It'll be in the show notes if I messed any of that up. Absolutely. <laughs> um, yeah. From Center Ice is a Rockford Buzz production. I did not write a new she ad didn't read do for her it, homework. but I'm also not reading the thing. Uh, Rockford Buzz is an online resource for everything local in the Rockford region. There is a community calendar of events, positive news stories, a local business directory, some fun videos that I am in, some (laughs) of them, and a lot more. So check it out. You can download the app at the Apple App Store or Google Play Store and follow along on Facebook and on Instagram. Hey, <laughs> now we just got to transcribe what you just said, and you got a new one for a couple weeks. Oh, goodness. <laughs> More like a couple months the way this well, one's been going. Know. Jeez. Well, well, let's see. What has happened in the past week? Um, we are flying by the seat of our pants on this one because we have both not been feeling that great. <laughs> it's just been a rough week. <laughs> it's been a week. But the Ice Hogs won their first... Well, not their first. I'm sure they've won another one. But they haven't won one in a while. Their school day game. Right. Against the Toronto Marlies. That was since last podcast. It was. was wow. It that feels have, like it was two weeks ago. Doesn't it? It feels okay. like it was forever ago. Wow. But, yeah, they beat the Marlies. They did. Not Garrett Sparks. Not Garrett Sparks. Because Kasmia he... Kaskisquo. Correct. Kaskisquo. Kaskisquo. Well, okay. <laughs> who just got called up to the Leafs because yeah, did. the Blackhawks got Michael Hutchinson fired. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> that happened. That did happen. And then there was a game on Friday that I was not at, but you were there. I did go. And they lost 4 to nothing. It was real, real bad. That was an ugly one. But we had a lot of shots on goal, did we not? Uh, yes. So what happened? I obviously didn't see it. It just wasn't they couldn't put it together they they kept looking like they had some really good chances but they just couldn't finish it like i don't Mm. know what the problem was did the goalie steal the show yes he had like a (laughs) that was a yes question mark yes it was (laughs) (laughs) his like i was looking at the pamphlet or whatever Mm -hmm. what what do you call it sheet of paper Stat sheet. Stat sheet. Stat sheet. That's the, one. the sheet of paper. The sheet of paper? I don't yeah, know. No, I, was, I was looking at the stat sheet as I do every game just to see, you know, uh-huh. who's on the team, what their stats are like. How the goalies are doing. Yeah. And both of them were at like 885. So, like, mm. they're not. It, it was the freaking Mies, and they're last yeah. in, in the. Con- not the conference. Maybe the conference. Last in the. They division. were. And then they <clears throat> swung through Illinois. They shut us out. They shut the Wolves out the next night. I don't know what kind of drugs they're on. And then but... I believe they won last night as well. Yikes. Yeah, so we might have kickstarted something with the Mies. I don't like Winnipeg. that. Or I don't Manitoba, like that at all. I guess. Yeah. Manitoba. Yeah. And the, uh. The, uh. Mm. I'm having a hard time with words here the past couple of days. The uh, anthem singer was really, really good on Friday. Oh, I thought like, you were going to tell me he messed up again. No, no. It was a different guy. Okay. The school day game was terrible. He forgot the words to the Canadian uh, national anthem, yeah, and then he somehow fudged the 
you asked one too. I didn't even hear that one. It, I was too busy being thrown off by him forgetting half of O Canada. Yeah, that was rough. <laughs> But the guy that performed on Friday night was absolutely amazing. Really? Yes, and everybody agreed. Everybody in the season ticket holder group was like, oh my god, hire this guy. Interesting. I wish you would have seen it. Um, Yeah, I'm glad I didn't see the game, though. No, no, the game was not not good. Not good (laughs) at all. Uh, (laughs) So how how were the goals against? Okay, so the goals against, the first one was a little rough. Uh, Okay. Colin was in nut. Uh Uh-huh. Was he in net or was he just no? Playing? He was actually in net. Okay. He wasn't like not sliding off all the way to the side. Okay. Um, yeah, the first one I was I was tweeting you, not tweeting you, texting, <laughs> texting you. Uh, I was live live texting the yes. game to you because you were not there. I was not. And, um, <laughs> I wouldn't have been doing that if you were there. <laughs> I mean, you could have. It wouldn't have made much sense, but you could have. But I could. <laughs> if you really feel so inclined. Um, the second one, I believe, is the one where our defenseman knocked him over. Mm. And it was Philip Holm, right? That was the and one. like, stood on top of him? Like, stood directly on top of him. Well, that's not helpful. That and does no. not make you into a bigger goalie, like, in a Mario game. <laughs> like, you can't just not. stand on top of the goalie and, like, double team and make a super big goalie. You no. just kind of stop him from doing yeah, his he, job. Yeah, he couldn't move. He couldn't see the puck. It oh, went no. right in. It was real bad. I feel like half the stadium somehow didn't notice that Philip oh. Holm... Was standing was on our standing goalie? standing on him, so they just blamed him. Like, yo, Colin, way out of position. They didn't realize Philip got taller? Like... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened, but it didn't seem like everybody noticed okay. that very obvious fact. <laughs> um, the third one, I want to say, it was one he should have had, but okay. it wasn't, like... Not necessarily yo, Colin! Fault, right. But if you look back on it, like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, he, he should've. probably okay. should have stopped that one. Okay. And then the fourth one, I believe was just like oh that was not good <laughs> oh Colin. oh no oh Colin, no <laughs> i mean by that point he was probably like what the fuck right. is happening in this i mean game? they they couldn't score yeah even though they were getting some decent looks it just so, wasn't it just happening. wasn't happening it was not and it sucks because it was the freaking meese yeah and, and it's like they were doing very bad yeah, but now they're so doing it, very good so i don't know what happened it seemed like that game I'm not going to say it should have been a gimme, because none of them are gimmies. Right. Especially with this team. But with um, their record and with their goalie stats coming into the game. Right. It we just, should have been able. Theoretically, we should have been able to score on them at least a couple times. Yeah. Like, I kept saying during the game, like, just get one and I'll be fine. Just get one. <laughs> just get one. But no, it but was a shutout. No. That's we what's so frustrating out. about hockey sometimes. Yep. It doesn't matter who your team is or who you're playing. Mm-mm. It could go either it way could go either all way. the time. Any any time. Nothing all is a the given. times. It could go either way. No. <laughs> it's it's sad and disappointing. Yeah. But they did go into Chicago on Sunday and they beat the Wolves. <laughs> we still haven't lost to them, right? They're four and zero against the oh, Chicago Wolves. I love Wolves that so much. That is music to my ears. They played very well. They won four to one. Yes. 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 I was watching it on TV. I was like, why couldn't y'all have done this at home? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, now that I've stopped my cat from chewing on all the plastic bags in the house, <laughs> they came back to Chicago and they won on Sunday. So, that was good news. At least that game against Manitoba did not send them into a tailspin. Right. That was a very big possibility. I was sort of concerned. They're kind of a fragile team, and I don't like to say that. I know, that, they but, really are. But it's like... Any one little thing can just send them into the tailspin that just, mm-hmm. they're not recovering from that for a while. You yeah. know you're going to lose the next couple of games. But they didn't. They didn't. They didn't. They, they won the very next together. game. They haven't played since, so it's only been that one. When is their next game? It's on, they play away on Friday in Grand Rapids, I believe. So they have another one of these weird five-day breaks. Yeah. I the American like League it. schedule is so strange. And then they have another game at home on Saturday, but we won't be there Right. So hopefully they can win when I'm not there at home. Maybe if neither of us are there, are there they'll win. Maybe. It can't just be one or the other. Right. We haven't had We one both of those have to be yet. there or we both have to not be there. Okay. Half of our magic doesn't work. We need no. we need the full package. Yes. Our okay. our magic must be combined. <laughs> like we have to be together. 
Yes, we're going to be together. With our powers combined. <laughs> I have the power. <laughs> okay, yeah, so they play the Griffins on Friday. Correct. And then again on Saturday. Yes, they have a nice home. little home and home there. Correct. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then they don't play again. Jesus. Yeah, then they have until another the long break Saturday. until the next a Saturday. A whole week? A whole week. That's not okay. No, and then... The oh, and then they're in Texas. Oh. Come Texas, on. not Texas. Freaking Texas. Not Texas. I don't like that. Yeah, but the good news is they're still getting shots on goal. Yes, yes. So that, that did that not that hasn't regressed. That was weird because they had a lot more shots than... Um, the moose dead. The meese? The meese. Um, at least at first. I think it evened <laughs> out towards the end of the game. I know I texted you all the stats, whatever, uh. but um, at, in the beginning, yeah, this, the shots were way in our so favor. So at least they're, it's not like they're not trying. Right. It just wasn't their game on Friday, yes. which is going to happen from time to time. Correct. But like we said, they did come back and get the win, and they were getting shots in the game against Chicago, too. So that was like their biggest downfall to start the years. They just they weren't, weren't shooting, shooting the puck at all. We were getting like half the shots the other team did. They it weren't was bad. shooting the puck. But you guys know that. <laughs> You've heard us scream about it yeah. for a month now. So I can only hope that things are looking up for the season. If they just... I have hope. Yeah? I do. Do we have hope in Derek King now? I don't know if I would go that far. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I'm not as hopeless as I was on him. That's fair. Um... But that's just because we've won a couple of games. Yeah, just I wait till we go on a losing streak. Yeah, then it'll like, be... Like, fire him! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know. All of the media day things, it just seems like generic hockey talk. Like, that, I feel like that's what you're going to get they're... from anybody, really, though. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm not blaming him at all. Yeah. I'm just saying... It's like, so frustrating. You can't get anything real out of no. them. No! Which sucks, because all I want is real. Right. Like, I want to know how you actually feel about the result and right. what you're doing to prepare for the next game. Exactly. And, like, what are you doing differently? How did you get these results? Yeah. Like, what did you change? But, no. Like, obviously, you can't give up your whole... All your secrets, No. But you can give us some sort of insight. Something, please. Like, why even talk to the media? That's kind of you know? how I feel about it, but whatever. Yeah. It's so silly. Yeah. I don't know. So, hopefully things continue looking up. We mm-hmm. can only hope. And then the Hawks... Wait, who was in net on Sunday? Do you know? Tommy. Tommy, right. Because Kevin was going to play, but he didn't feel good. Yes. I remember now. And so Tommy was in net, and yeah. we were like, huh? Yeah, because he wasn't even going to travel... And then right. suddenly, quote coming, unquote, travel well, down, down the road. Yeah. yeah, what is it? Forty-five minutes, something like that. But uh, <laughs> yeah, they're lucky that he. Didn't. Yeah, he came in and played really well. Yeah. I was, I was pleasantly surprised. Good on you, Tommy boy. Good job, Tommy boy. I really wouldn't be upset with the tandem of Kevin and Tommy. Stop. I. <laughs> I know. I know. And I agree. That's why I'm telling you to stop. <laughs> I don't want Colin to go away. No, I just please want God, him no. to take a sit. He needs he needs something. A sit. I he thought needs... the summer was a long enough sit, but it was not a long enough sit. I don't know what he needs. I don't know what he needs either. I just want my old Colin back, and I hate, hate, hate seeing him play so terribly. Because okay, no, he does. He doesn't look as bad as he did, <laughs> but it's still not working. Like He's, something... he doesn't look like Colin. No. I don't know what changed. I don't know why it changed. I don't know how to get it back. I don't know. It it just seems like he's either nursing an injury or there's something. That's another thing that happened uh, towards the end of the game on Friday. I don't know if he got hit in the head or if he landed weird when mm-hmm. he fell, but it looked like he hit his head and he was having a struggle oh, for geez. a second. That's and not what we got need. Real scary for me. And he didn't come out of the game, and Derek didn't pull him, and he didn't sit himself. Of course not. And he finished the game, but it was, he looked like he was struggling for a minute. I don't like that. And the that. play just continued, and I'm like, dude, if you're hurt, please go sit. Uh-huh. Like, we don't need to risk a major injury. Right. Off of something that is potentially minor. Like, I don't, I've never understood if a goalie is hurting, uh-huh. one way or another, it doesn't matter how. Please just go sit. 
No, like, they want to keep their crease. I. It doesn't benefit anyone to stay. It doesn't. It doesn't help you. It but hockey help players are supposed to be tough, don't you know? I hate it. I hate it's it. It's ridiculous, really. It's such an um, impossible standard. Right. People play with freaking broken jaws. Like, dude, <laughs> go take a seat. Or a punctured lung if you're that Patrice seri- Bergeron. Right. Like, it's not that serious. Uh, just please go take a seat. We it know you're tough. You don't have to potentially kill yourself on the ice to prove this. Right. Uh, anyway, I didn't mean to cut you off to no, reject that. No, but, you're fine. But yeah, hopefully, it didn't look like it was anything major. I hope not. He seemed okay by the end of the game. Good. But it was a little iffy for a couple minutes there. Yeah. And I wasn't the only one that noticed, so. Gotcha. The Blackhawks, the last two games, they won one of them, and they lost the other in a shootout. Right. So that's highly unfortunate. <laughs> I can't... They look better, but still not great. So they lost to the Penguins mm-hmm. in the shootout after leading 2 to nothing. Uh, they lost 3-2. to two. And They then can't play a full 60 minutes. They beat the Leafs 5-4, to four, but they, they still had, made that one scary. Because they had a 4-1 to one lead. They had a 4-1 to one lead, and... <sighs> Robin Lehner had to face, what was it, 57 shots or something? Something like that, yeah. Absolutely asinine like that. fucking bonkers. So they're still not letting up on the shots against our goalies. They're seemingly taking more shots, and somehow their (laughs) offense has been revived because they're scoring goals now. But I I don't know where Kane came from. He's putting up points all of a sudden. Man, I wanted him to get that Hattie so bad. Me too. Just give it to him when the, when the net's empty. I mean, just, I I feel like he was out there him. when the net was empty, but the Leafs were just yeah, coming oh, no. and coming yeah. and coming well, and coming. Well, they were trying real hard. And realistically, we probably should have lost to that game. Oh, for sure. Like, the Blackhawks had more scoring chances and mm-hmm. more high-danger scoring chances by the numbers. Mm-hmm. But still, just with the amount of shots and how much they were pressing towards the end of the game, there was a very realistic chance of us losing that game. Tavares is back, right? Yes. Okay, but Marner's out. Yes, with a high high ankle ankle sprain. sprain. Oof, that's rough. He's out at least four weeks, right? Yeah. You never want to see a guy you just committed so much money to going down with something that could potentially alter the way he plays for the rest of his career oh, fuck that's rough <laughs> yeah damn mitch yeah so that really sucks it's probably good for us on sunday that he wasn't playing just oh for sure because we ended up he's, almost losing he's without scary him. yeah <laughs> he, he likes to score goals that game was so ridiculous it was four to one the leafs looked like garbage i was like all right mm-hmm. we're gonna take this win it'll be fine and then <coughs> And then, all of a sudden, there were pucks going into the back of our net, and I was like, oh See, no. but that's... They're, they're gonna do that. They're gonna they're... do this to me. <laughs> they're really it gonna do this the to first me. first time. But thank God for Robin Lehner. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> shit. That's, what that's poor Leafs, guy. That's what the Leafs do, though. They don't start on time, and then they come back and they fight for their life. And it works for them a lot of the time. We're just lucky that Robin was in net and he was actually stopping things. Because otherwise there's that game. Very valid point. But uh, where did the defense go? That's a real good question. Where did the team go in front of our goalie? <laughs> they just It's like they evaporated into thin air. There was no more team. Ugh. No team. We need the team. Need the team. We need the team. There was not one there. <laughs> that... My heart was beating so fast. Yeah, you posted on Twitter your heart rate from your Fitbit. <laughs> I wonder when they started playing badly and it was just like, fat burn zone, fat burn zone. I was like, well, this is one way to lose weight. Right? Just stress God, out about just hockey. Just watch hockey. <laughs> Don't even play it. Just watch just it. Just watch. You'll be in the fat burn zone if you're watching the Hawks play as they're giving up leads all over the place. Oh, it's so scary. It was so stressful. And it was really, it was even more stressful because um, William Nylander also had two goals. I was Mm -hmm. like, if he gets the hat trick and Kaner doesn't, I swear to God, that would have been... He scored the 
Wait. Yeah, he scored the first two goals, right? Yeah. I don't remember who scored after that. I was no, just so mad all. by that point. I j- but I, I just know it was like, wrong Nylander, wrong Nylander. Yeah. <laughs> I was really hoping Alex was going to get a goal against Yeah, Yes, Reeves just like, ha, take brother. that, bro. Right. But... It's not the first time they've played against each other. They faced off when Alex was in Buffalo, but it just would have been nice mm-hmm. since William was scoring goals to have his brother also score. Yeah. But alas, there was no team <laughs> on the ice for the Hawks. <laughs> There was only a goaltender. Not after the first period. And he still wasn't named the first star of the game. Which is ridiculous. I understand. Patrick Kane had two goals and an assist. Okay, yeah. But, awesome. But 57, 57 shots on goal. shots on goal. <laughs> and he only gives up four, four to the Leafs. To the freaking Leafs. To the high-powered Maple Leafs. It was, oh mm. my gosh. Like, it's, it's a pretty trivial thing, the stars of the game, but still, he deserved the number one yeah, star of the game. Yeah, for sure. Especially with the onslaught coming at him in the last <laughs> two minutes or so when their net was empty. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh my god. I don't know what is wrong with this team. <laughs> but Jeremy did admit to changing up the systems a bit mm-hmm. and uh, going away from the dump and chase game they were playing. Thank god. I know, because we have nobody to chase. They were just <laughs> they dumping. They just dump. They were dumping and staring. <laughs> you, you can't dump and stare. No dump and stare. It's not effective. <laughs> I'm glad that they realize that now. Yes. It only took a month into the season. That's all. <laughs> oh, jeez. And they're starting to break the puck out of the zone from the defensive zone faster. And so they're going back to what worked for them last year. I'm glad he realized his system wasn't working mm-hmm. and went back to it some coaches can be really difficult and be like no you're gonna play my system and blah 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 so i'm glad he adjusted to it Mm -hmm. it took me like one more foot off of the fire jeremy train i'm very hot and cold with this as you could tell i saw a lot of people really upset that uh kirby only played like seven minutes i i can't find it in me to be upset about that he had a point didn't he didn't he have he one had of the goal. assists? He, he had, had a goal. goal. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, right, because it was his second goal, right? Yep. It was a lot prettier than the first one. It was. <laughs> he actually scored this one. It didn't it just, didn't just go deflect off, off of him. him. Yeah, but I, I, he's 18. Like, right. I don't know. He'll he'll get more ice time. It'll come. Yeah, people were just... Like, I get it. I want to see him play more, too. Right. They just didn't think that he was being rewarded for playing well understandably but at the same time the kid's 18 i just wanted to get your take on that yeah (laughs) maybe if it's the same way next year i'll be a lot more upset about it i can't find it in my heart to be upset about it two months into his nhl career i'm not not upset about it either i was just maybe even like somewhere down the line this season if his ice time doesn't progressively go up and he gets progressively better. Right. I'll be like, eh, what's going on here? <laughs> but it's November. He was drafted in June. Like, <laughs> calm down. You're telling Hockey Twitter to calm down? <laughs> Hockey Twitter has no calm. <laughs> no. No, no. Hockey Twitter is the equivalent of me watching the drop pass on the power oh play. Oh, God, that's terrifying. <laughs> Which they still haven't abandoned, no, no. by the way. There were a few times when they did not do it, but it was not very often. And they still had, so they called Boquist up, right? Mm-hmm. They have him on the second power play unit with mm-hmm. Gustafson. That is so redundant <laughs> as they play the same exact role. Yeah. And they have Keith back on power play one, mm-hmm. Duncan Keith, who knows no other concept of power play other than drop pass. Yeah. Or oh, we need to set up, let me skate back into my zone for a good 10 seconds uh-huh. and kill a lot of time and then think about skating forward. He's just so frustrating to watch on the power play. Mm-hmm. I, oh, it just makes me want to hit my head against things. <laughs> well, try not to do that. I'll try, but then power play two comes out and you have Gus and Boquist both on the point and, like, Okay, Gus is obviously going to get out there because he scored 60 points last season. Last season, 
We should have traded him after last season when it's his not, value was at its highest. You would think that's not sustainable. <sighs> Anybody who has watched this guy. He's a Anyways. defensive liability. <laughs> yes. So they have the point that I'm trying to <laughs> eventually get to, but I keep getting sidetracked because I'm frustrated, is that we have Boquist and we have Gustafson mm-hmm. on the same power play unit. And you have Boquist... Uh, floating more down towards where Kane plays on the half wall and Gus is at the point. Mm -hmm. And he just ignores Boquist's presence on the power play. Yes. It's really weird. Like, there were a lot of times in that game against Toronto where I noticed that Boquist was just, like, wide open, waiting for a puck. He could have shot it, he could have had a passing lane, and Gus just didn't even look at him. That's highly frustrating. I don't know what that's about. Mm. And I wanted to throw things at my TV because obviously that's an effective way to communicate to this team that they are doing something incorrectly (laughs) by breaking my TV screen so I cannot watch this stupid team anymore. (laughs) They'll really hear you then. I know. I know. I don't... I don't know what that's about. I don't know if that's going to be a thing that consistently happens. I feel like I've noticed it in previous games, just not as much as I noticed it in this one. Mm -hmm. Maybe because of just how wide open Boquist was. Right. And he's been getting a good amount of shots on goal when he has the puck. So I don't know, like, is Gus afraid he's going to get traded if Boquist does well? I don't want to put that out there like, whoa, conspiracy. (laughs) But, like... (laughs) At the same time, if Gus has no place on this team because Boquist is scoring 60 points and Gus isn't... Okay, well then he needs to actually score. Right? (laughs) Like, do your job or let the kid do his job. Exactly. Somebody's got to do the job. If nobody's scoring, then nobody's winning. Exactly, because you're a defensive liability, Mm -hmm. so you're going to let people score when you're down in the other zone, so you might as well set somebody up while you're in the offensive zone. And I mean, if you pass it to the kid, you're going to get an assist if he scores. You're going to rack up Mm -hmm. points anyways. I don't know. I was just so frustrated. I was just watching this. I was like, pass it! (laughs) Why'd you pass the puck? (laughs) And he just wasn't. He just kept passing it over to the left wing, and Boquist was floating around on the white, uh, white side. On the white side. On, on the white side. The white side was just <laughs> wide open. <laughs> on the right side. And he just had no touches, and that was really frustrating, and I hope that is not a trend that continues. I hope that we see Keith taken off of power play one, and one of Gustafson or Boquist being put up there, mm-hmm. because Keith is not and has never been effective on the power play. And yet, somehow, he has this, like, two-way defenseman label on him when he has no, never no. been good <laughs> offensively. No, no. He's a, he's a good defenseman. He's good in his own zone. Mm-hmm. I was complaining a lot about him earlier this season because he did not look good in the first couple games, but he's really stepped it up, and he's looked fine while he's defending. Mm-hmm. But you get him oh, on the other side of the ice from our goaltender, and he... Looks like a chicken with his head cut off. He's like, I don't know what to do. What is hockey? I'm just going to whip this puck at a shin pad and not our own players to deflect it into the net. No, just the guy right in front of me. And I'm going to take a two-second wind-up so he can stand right in front of me so I can whip it at the shin pad. He's the slowest shot I've ever seen. He takes so long. Just just pull it back, pull it back, pull, pull it back, it's and like he's, shoot! It's like he's lifting up, you know at the carnival <laughs> games where they have the big hammer yeah. and you hit the thing and it goes up, you try to ring, it's like he's lifting one of those hammers when he's taking a slap shot. He's like, alright, here I'm we go! Hit that bell. And then it goes up like an inch because he hits the shin pad right in front of him. Like, people give Seabrook a lot of shit, and I will also do that because he is very slow and very bad defensively. But at least he gets his shots through in the offensive zone. Yeah. He can hit the net. He doesn't take 20 years to wind up a hammer <laughs> that's as heavy as his own body weight uh-huh. to try to get the puck at the net when he just hit the shin pad. Like, I don't know if he's trying to break ankles instead of scoring goals. <laughs> like, is, is he that far into his career? He's like, I've won a gold medal. I've got three Stanley Cups. I have a Norris. I have, I'm pretty sure he's got a Conn Smythe. He's like, I've got all these trophies, but what I don't have 
is some broken ankles to my name from my <laughs> slap shot. He gotta find something new to aspire to. I think I mean. that's what it is. He's looking to break ankles to add that to his trophy cabinet. Just he will contact the player. Hello, can I get an X-ray image from your broken ankle from my I need slap to shot? Please. Hang it up on my wall. I need to put it in my trophy cabinet. Let me put it next to my three Stanley Cup rings. <laughs> It sounds completely mad, but he drives me mad, winding up for three seconds to take a slap shot that doesn't get through to the goaltender. Like, what are you doing? Oh my god. Just take a wrist shot. You would think. At least he would get off your stick faster. And even when he does take a wrist shot, he'll oh, walk the blue line, skating backwards, staring directly at the net. I can picture Anybody so defending him knows he is going for the shot because he is not looking for a teammate. It's so And he's obvious. just got the puck on his stick, got the puck on his stick. Five seconds later, still got the puck on his stick. Then he whips it in the direction of the net, <laughs> but by that time, the defense is, like, up. setting up a picnic in front of him. <laughs> They've had so much time, and their picnic basket blocks the shot. Like, it's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> oh, that's know. beautiful. I don't know why they keep letting this guy shoot the puck. No. They just... Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> they need to do... Like, how they had Carpenter out there in the three-on-three against Pittsburgh. He was in the defensive zone for mm-hmm. a face-off in overtime. Right. He's, he's adequate at face-offs, which the rest of our team has not been. <laughs> so he took the face-off in the defensive zone, stayed out there while the puck was still on our side of the ice to make sure nothing catastrophic happened. Mm-hmm. And then once they got towards the offensive zone, he went for a change so a more offensive guy could hop on the ice. Wow. Why can't Duncan Keith do the same thing? Does he think he is an offensive player? I don't think anybody else thinks that. Obviously, Jeremy does because he's putting him out on the power play. <laughs> Somebody thinks he is an offensive player. He has never been an offensive no. player. Ugh. He was a world-class defenseman back in the prime of his career. Mm-hmm. He is still very adequate this season in mm-hmm. the defensive zone. You get him away from his zone. The wheels come off, and everything's gone awry. He can't hold the puck at the blue line. He can't get the shots through. He flubs passes. It's just like, what is happening? <sighs> he forgets. How? <laughs> and then you got Seabrook, and I just can't even get into that one. <laughs> oh, He just looks like he doesn't give a shit. Yeah. But he thinks he's still a serviceable defenseman. Somehow. He says he still has a lot left in him. Well, then show it, please. I see nothing. Can we please see? Can we just... <laughs> what we need to do... <laughs> please tell. Do is tell. <laughs> get one of those, like, child backpacks, you know, where you carry babies on your back? Yeah. Okay. Well, you get an adult-sized one. <laughs> <laughs> Strap it to Duncan Key. Okay. Put Seabrook on his back. So, in the defensive zone, you have a Duncan Keith. You get into the offensive zone, you have a Brent Seabrook. <laughs> Does it only count if one of their skates is touching the ice? No, Seabrook <laughs> is on his back! I know, but, like, I'm saying they could switch, like, <laughs> back and forth. So they're like a seesaw? Yeah. A seesaw defenseman. <laughs> oh. This gets too uh, so complicated. <laughs> I was just talking about a backpack. I know, but like if one but of them... But now they're a seesaw. Yeah, because if one of them's effective in the offensive zone, then you would want his skates on the ice. But Zebra well, can't one. skate. That's why we have Keith on the bottom. Well, then you get Keith to skate him to where he needs to be and then <laughs> put him down. Just, just set him down. Shoot the puck. <laughs> Here, Steve, shoot the puck. They just need to, like, hook arms <laughs> back to back. <laughs> Oh, we, we've gone off the rails we're going again. We're off the rails as Keith in the office. <laughs> so. It's late, okay. <laughs> oh, God. Speaking of the, the, the wheels coming off, though. The wheels. Uh, what is with uh, Taves taking so many penalties? He mad. 
I get it, but bro, contain yourself. He mad. He sucks this year. He mad. He's not been that bad. He's, He's got been points. Barely. A couple. He's been so bad. Like he enough. hasn't even been adequate, like, on the defensive side of the puck. He's just standing there. He's basically a prince. Okay. <laughs> so, we need to get Kane a backpack. <laughs> So, in the defensive zone, you have a Jonathan Taves. Okay. In the offensive zone, you have a Patrick Kane. Yep. There you go. There you go. We're just... just we're going with, the, like, the two-tone colored pencils. <laughs> yeah. But for our team, because none of them can do, like, multiple things adequately. And none of them are great at any one thing. So it's not like we have some guys who are just amazing at doing one thing lately. Because we don't, aside from our goalies. And we don't have anybody who's just okay at everything, but not great at anything. It's, they're just out there. I don't know what they're doing. They're trying. Sometimes. Sometimes. They, <laughs> it really depends on the night. I don't understand what's happening to my team. My team is falling apart. And they were supposed to be so much better defensively this year? What happened? Dude, I don't know. What happened? We cannot continue to keep letting 50-plus shots through. I don't care who you have in that. They're not going to sustain this type of season. No! There is no way Robin Lehner is going to keep up like a 940 <laughs> save percentage That's when you're facing over 40 shots. Ridiculous. You just can't expect... Any goaltender, too. <laughs> you couldn't expect, like, a computer goaltender right. to do that who is programmed to save every puck. Oh, my God. It's just not possible. This is madness. Right. You and cannot keep letting up. This amount, This team, they get a lead, and then they just get complacent. I hate it That's so exactly much. what happens. You can see it coming you every time. You can see it. They get what they think is a comfortable lead. And Nothing is just... a comfortable lead. Lead in Chicago sports. No, no. no it doesn't no, matter no. which sport it is. Nope. All of them are like this. There yeah. is no comfortable lead. They all blow it all the time. Every season, everything gets blown. <laughs> breathe. <sighs> breathe. <laughs> <sighs> but yeah, you can see it coming every time. They'll get what they think is a comfortable lead and then they just like it was stop. Four to playing. one. It was. And they should have had that game. This in is the supposed bag. to be the complaint of a Leafs fan. <laughs> Because that score is supposed to haunt them. But I have the joy of being a Hawks <laughs> and a Leafs fan. And the Leafs almost came back and destroyed our 4-1 to mm-hmm. lead. I just... Oh, boy. This team is taking years off of my life. Mm-hmm. I'm going to die early because of this <laughs> team. It's happening. I cannot keep having my heart rate so high while watching games. I'm going to burn a lot of fat. (laughs) Pretty soon there will be no more. There will be no fat left to burn. (laughs) It will start eating away at my heart and then I will be deceased. Because I cannot just hold a lead. (laughs) You're so dramatic. I don't know what you're talking about. It was four to one. It was. It was. You You're saw my right. heart rate. It was I over a hundred. Over. I'm always over a hundred. My normal resting rate is anywhere between like sixty and seventy two. Mine says it's seventy three. It's seventy three right now. Oh, my watch is dead. I don't know. <laughs> See, it can't even hold. It can't contain my heart rate. It just dies, like me. <laughs> Because of this team going to die young, they're Hmm. going to kill me. You'll be okay. I don't think so. I believe in you. I don't believe in this team. You should. Why? We need (laughs) two-toned colored pencils to play on the ice (laughs) to be effective. You shouldn't need colored pencils on the ice. No, no, they're supposed to be able to do their jobs. We need uh, human-sized backpacks to make our players effective. (laughs) Now I just want to see, like, 
a game of three on three where, where there's actually <laughs> six <laughs> on each side uh-huh. because they're duos. <laughs> Seesaw back and forth. Whose skates needs to be on the ice? I think I had a dream that there were two goalies on the ice. You told me about that. Did I? Yeah, you might have told this story on the podcast even. Um, I don't know. There was like a really vivid dream. Like I feel (coughs) like it actually happened, but that's not a (laughs) thing that happens in hockey. No. But like one of them was like the goalie goalie. Mm -hmm. And the other one was just like playing hockey, but with a goalie <laughs> stick and all of his pads and everything. He's just out there as a skater? Yeah. Huh. But then when the puck came into the zone, like, he was like, oh no, I need I'm to goalie! goalie. <laughs> but then he, like, deflected the puck trying to make the save, and then the other goalie goalie couldn't make the save because it wasn't oh, going no. where they thought it was going, and so the puck went in the net, and like, you can't even stop the puck with two goalies out there. And I just feel like... Robin Lehner is two goalies, but he's stopping the puck because there's only one of him. And his other goalie isn't ruining it for him. But he is two goalies in one because he is stopping the amount of shots that should be in two games. games. Yes. Routinely. Routinely. I don't know. And he just doesn't seem mad. No. (laughs) I I mean, he's thrown shade. (coughs) He said... That he was behind probably the worst defensive team in the league for three years when he was in Buffalo. Right, so he's used to it. So he's used to it. Which low-key threw shade at us. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. (laughs) I feel like there was more shade thrown at us than at Buffalo. Like, Buffalo was supposed to be bad. Right. They were trying to be bad. We're We're supposed to be good. I don't know what we're trying to do. (laughs) Everybody said we were supposed to be good this year. We're not. No. We're not. This is not a good hockey team. <laughs> there are world class players on this team, but it is not a good hockey team. It's ridiculous. And this is why I'm going to die young. There's no reason for them to be as bad as they are. No. 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 It's like the year that Tampa was supposed to be amazing. So <laughs> and everybody got hurt. So I drafted a whole bunch of them yeah, on my fantasy I team. I told you to do that. Yeah. And then. That was before you really knew about other teams Uh and players and stuff. I was like, oh, draft the Tampa guys. They're going to be first in the league. And then they weren't that. (laughs) They did real bad, actually. So my fantasy team was real bad. Yeah. Oops. (laughs) I feel like that's the Hawks of this year. Except, obviously, they weren't supposed to be, like, first in the league or anything. But they were supposed to be be not giving up 57 shots a game. Jesus, that doesn't even sound real. (sighs) Our poor goaltenders. I Both of them. So bad for them. I don't understand. I don't get it. Everything is wrong. Everything <laughs> is wrong. Huh. That's been this week's adventure. And so we won't even have a home game to talk about we next won't. week because we're not going to the Saturday game. I mean, we'll have a home game to talk about. We just right. won't be there. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yep. Hmm. We'll have to watch some highlights. For sure. We'll find something to talk about. Yeah, I'm sure will. the Hawks will do something in the meantime that I can scream about. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, the Hawks play a couple of games. They play tomorrow. Yeah, they do. They play Vegas. Ooh, and then boy. they're at another good team. I don't remember who it is. Are they going to play Garrett Sparks? No, he's back, isn't he? Yeah, because is we played against him on Sunday. Right. He's back. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, we played the Golden Knights on Wednesday. We play the Predators on Saturday. Uh-huh. The Sabres on Sunday. So we will have three games to talk about. All right. Yep. Let's hope the Hawks do better. We can hope so. <laughs> and hope the Hogs keep rolling. Yeah. Rolling and they, rolling. Uh, they broke their five-game win streak, which sucks. But they got one back. In Chicago. And now they're going to start a new one. They sure the heck are. Because we believe in our boys. We do. So until next week. Goodbye. Bye.